Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Air Force fighter pilots undergoes three stages of training. The first stage is performed on fleet of 75 pilot is PC-7 Mark II turboprop trainers. It is planned to be replaced with indigenous basic trainer HL HTT-40. The Union Cabinet on March 1, 2023 had approved the procurement of 70 S-2040 trainer aircraft from HAL at a cost of Rs. 6,800 crores. The second stage is intermediate jet training, which is conducted on HAL Kiran Mark I and Mark II aircrafts. These aircrafts are again twin-seater and intermediate jet-powered trainer aircraft designed and manufactured by HAL. The third and advanced stage, which is conducted on BAE Systems Hawk Mark 132 Advanced Jet Trainers. The HL Kiran jets have been in training for almost 50 years. Inter Air Force is currently operating 87 and Navy 20 of these jets. Now, in order to complement the aging fleet of Kiran, HL is developing indigenous intermediate jet trainer called Hindustan Jet Trainer HJT 36 or Sitara. HL will also offer a complete simulation-based training solution for the IGT to match the Indian Air Force infrastructure already in place for PC Mark II and Hawk MK-132 fleets. The HJT-36 is going to be a subsonic intermediate jet trainer. The aircraft is designed and being developed by HL's Aircraft Research and Development Center ARDC. It is going to be all metallic conventional aircraft with tandem seating and low swept wings and small air intakes for engine on either side of its fuselage. It has a single piece large canopy with steeped up seating for rear pilot and drooping nose which gives excellent all round vision to both trainer and trainee. It features full glass cockpit with cutting edge active matrix LCD display and a heads up display. The trainer features an integrated digital avionics system from G Aviation Systems and heads-up display and repeater from Elbert System. It features both conventional and manual flight controls for pilots. HJD-36 is powered by Russian AL-55I NPU Saturn jet engine produced in-house at engine division Kuraput of HAL. The engine can generate thrust of 17 kN. It helps the trainer to achieve maximum speed of Mach 0.75 and G limits of plus 7 and minus 2.5. Besides training, the HJD-36 can also be used for light strike or armed reconnaissance role. It has four hard points on wings for weapons training. There is also one center line hard point under the fuselage. The maximum external payload of the aircraft is 1000 kg. Now, HL has started design and work on intermediate jet trainer back in 1997 as a successor of HJT-16 Kiran. Two years later, HL was awarded contract for development, testing and certification of two prototypes of the aircraft. The first and second prototypes of HJT-36 flew on 7th March 2003 and in March 2004 respectively. The program faced delays by two years due to the late delivery of NPU Saturn engine from Russia. Later, two accidents and in February 2007 and in February 2009 involving each of the prototypes grounded the aircraft for repair and investigations. After further development and extensive testing, the Indian Air Force placed an order for 73 aircraft. The aircraft entered limited series production in 2009 for the first 12 aircrafts. The IJT has already completed sea level trials, night flying, high altitude trials, as well as weapons and drop tank trials. However, in order to receive FOC, the trainer is yet to demonstrate the stall characteristics and spin testing. In 2016, the IJT program almost stalled over prototypes unsatisfactory spin testing characteristics when aircraft departed from the controlled flight. The issues were linked to the platform's critical stall and spin characteristics to provide trainee pilots with greater maneuverability of the aircraft. The IGT Sitara was to remain unfit for service as an intermediate jet trainer until these issues were resolved. 
Now, HL had to resort to major modifications in the aircraft, like shifting the vertical tail aft on the airframe and increasing the rudder area to correct its spin characteristics. In April 2019, Sitara flew for the first time in three years with a modified airframe. Again, on 6 January 2022, the IJT has successfully demonstrated the capability to carry out six turn spin to both left and right hand sides. HL performed several test flights before carrying out six turn spin flights, marking the beginning of a resolution to a problem that plagued the program since 2016. And with this milestone achieved, now the aircraft will go for certification. As per HL, the aircraft will require one more year of testing, after which it will be ready for induction. As per recent reports, Indian Air Force has planned to retire its Kiran trainer aircraft from 2025 onwards. These aircrafts will be replaced with IJT Sitara starting from 2026. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.